Hey folks, I'm with Alan. Um, Alan is with uh, Keshet Media. He's the CEO of uh, Keshet Media. They do some very innovative formats in terms of television. Thank you. Do you want to talk a little bit more about what uh, kind of formats you've come up with that are really exciting? I know the masterclass and there are a few of those that were really wonderful for me to look at. Thank you. We have so many formats. Uh, I think our catalog is consists of, uh, I don't know, something like 50, 60 formats very diverse. We have everything from game show, reality shows, to scripted shows. Um, I think our most famous show is Homeland, which obviously, you know, um, was successful in America and won a few Golden Globes and, and Emmys. Um, Masterclass, Rising Star, Boom. Uh, I would say these are the biggest sellers of the last uh, few years. But again, I mean, everything, we have so many formats and they're all very exciting. Fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. And you, you're, you're a global success, aren't you? You came out of Israel and you've been in the UK and now you're amongst the most um, innovative game shows in the, I mean, TV show uh, producers in the US and so on and so forth. So uh, it's been a successful time for you. We're trying to do our best, obviously. You know, <laughs> it's a very competitive market and uh, it's very hard to stand out. There are so many players. So we're doing our best to be innovative and creative and, you know, trying and make a difference. <laughs> Fantastic. So putting on your profit hat on, um, yeah. do you want to talk about where the TV show uh, format is heading in the, in the planet, in the world of interactivity, in the world of digital, in the world of television? Everything is changing, isn't it? Firstly, so, thank you for the compliment. You know, um, I think I'm too old to be a prophet. You know, I mean, you should ask the millennials. They know. I mean, obviously, you know, innovation is, dri is driven by, by young people and I'm not so young anymore. You know, I think my, you know, you know, you know who teaches me about television? My son. My son is five years old, and I think he signs the, the future of, of TV viewership. Um, he doesn't know the concept of linear television. He never watched linear television. He watches only Netflix and YouTube. Now, he's only five, but you know, he's going to go up, and his generation will dictate the future of television, which I believe you know, is, is mainly about on-demand and, uh, and over-the-top. That's interesting because that brings us to the next question really. On demand and over the top is really millions and trillions of views but nobody paying for it really, isn't it? Why do so you say that? I mean Netflix is charging for viewing, uh, iTunes is charging, I mean... Uh, that's true. In certain markets they are doing reasonably well. I, I suppose, think, I but, think you're, uh, you're pointing out Asia is hmm. big in piracy. I know that. But uh, I think that, you know, like in the US, once there will be uh, more convenient and cost-effective ways to consume content, it would also, uh, it would also uh, decrease the piracy. Mm -hmm. uh, in America, there's no need for piracy because you have so much. I mean, you pay Netflix is uh, how many uh, six bucks? Six, seven, yeah, nine six, nine. seven uh, bucks. So if for seven bucks you can get everything, you know, on HD on your television legally with no download, why not? So I think that once you know those services will penetrate uh, Asia and will create an alternative to watch TV, you know, on demand, paid, but relatively cost effective, that would also uh, slightly slow down piracy. Oh, oh, absolutely. So um, what do you think is the, uh, so there is a large screen, the television, uh, well, the largest screen is actually the cinema, but uh, let's sort of abandon it for a moment. Large screen, the television, and then there's a mobile, there's a tablet, and there are multi-screen experiences. What do you think the viewing experience is between these different screens? Do you see them interacting with each other? Do you see them as individual screens? They are you? interacting. It can do both, you know. Uh, we know that most people uh, watch TV while using, uh, holding the iPhone or, or iPad. So um, I think it only makes sense, you know, for shows to utilize the second screen. Rising Star obviously, you know, utilize the second screen by, while, while using a voting app. Mm -hmm. um, so again, you know, I think, I think this uh, multi-screen um, uh, evolution goes both ways. I mean, A, obviously you can watch movies and TV, sh and TV shows on your iPad and mobile, but you can also watch on television while using your iPhone or, or, or iPad in order to interact or to complement the, view the viewing experience. So uh, it's, it's just, you know, there's so many ways now to utilize those, those, those new outlets mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to grow. I think it's going to grow. It's going to grow. Uh, does that mean that the formats of the shows that you make change? Obviously, because there needs to be a lot more of interactivity that needs to be yeah, brought up. I think, I think that we already see more and more interactivity integrated within shows. And also, I think that uh, the duration will change. Mm -hmm. uh, the traditional 25, 45 minute show is now, is now uh, I wouldn't say changing, but, but diversifying. And short form content is becoming more and more popular. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you know, my son, you know, he only watches five minute show. Mm -hmm. he, he has no patience for more than that. Mm -hmm. uh, and we see so many great short form shows on, on, on YouTube and Vimeo and all those new platforms. So I think in the future we'll see more and more t t TV shows which are breaking the traditional uh, 
length of, of 2545. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's switch a little bit to the IP and creation of IP. How has that changed between the last 10, 15 years of, uh, in your experience, you know, in terms of where IP gets produced and how it gets monetized? Uh, I think that uh, content is king and I think that uh, um, fortunately for us, the content creators, there are so many ways now to monetize your content. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, it was only television, uh, but now it's all internet, over the top, uh, and I think it's uh, um, only generates more and more opportunities mm -hmm. for the IP creators. Yeah, fantastic. Last question, really. Um, coming from Israel, seven eight million people, small nation. You know, you know, doing so many interesting things, and not just in this space, but in multiple spaces. What is it that makes Israel unique? Israel is very small and with uh, very creative, with very limited uh, resources. So we just monetize our brains. <laughs> and that's the last word. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you so much. Yeah. Yes.